What's happening guys? Welcome to Transmog Guides. Before we begin, I'd like to go over a few tidbits in regards to how I have this set up. I hope I can alleviate some expected questions or concerns. First off, the item names will often be irrelevant as many models in the game are under multiple item names. I will simply pick a randomly chosen name amongst the choices for a certain model and use it to represent the item in the list. I will, however, go over almost every way, if not every way, available of attaining a piece of the set. Each way will be accompanied by a clip if I'm able to do so. Now let's begin. Today we've got a set I'm calling the Fell Orc Warlord. This is a plate armor set designed for warriors and death knights. However, it is incredibly easy to attain for you DKs out there since it happens to be the basic level of your tier 10, which is purchasable through justice points. For all you warriors out there, here's how to build the set. The entire set, excluding the tabard and weapon, is from the 10-man heroic versions of Ice Crown Citadel, or ICC abbreviated. First up, we have our helm, the Deathspeaker Zealot's helm. This model only has one way of dropping, and that is off of Lady Death Whisper, the second boss in the instance. Next, we have Scalpel Sharpening Shoulder Guards in our shoulder slot. These have two ways of dropping, one being off Professor Putricide and the other from Prince Valinar of the Blood Prince Council. And for our chest, we have Ghoul Commander's Curus. The model also has two ways of dropping, the first being Lady Death Whisper, and the second off Deathbringer Sourfin. The bracers are not visible in this set, so we'll move right along to Vein Crusher's Gauntlets in our glove slot. There are three ways for this to drop, one off Festergut, and the other two from Blood Queen Lanathel. To hold up our britches, we've got an etched Dragonbone Girdle for the waist. This too has three ways of dropping, the first being Rotface, then from Valithria Dreamwalker, and finally from Sintragosa. Our bridges themselves, the Battle Maiden's Leggards, are another triple drop chance. The first chance being from Deathbringer Sourfang, followed by Prince Valinar, and lastly, Sintragosa. Rounding out the main set, we've got our Bone Drake enameled boots. Like the helm, there is only one way of attaining these, and that is from the Gunship Battle. Skipping right over a non-visible, we have our tabard, the purple trophy tabard of the Illidari. Getting this tabard requires a two-part quest chain in Shadowmoon Valley. To begin the chain, you must find and kill Valsarek the Conqueror, who pats the area just west of Sanctum of the Stars in the southern part of the zone. This is the piece that really helps tie in the fell feel of the set by complementing the purple tones with the fell green lines in the tabard. Finally, we have arguably the most important yet most difficult to attain piece of the set, the weapon. Zul Thray's the Lasher. This weapon is pretty interesting because it is one of the first low-level epic items you can attain. To get it, you must get two different rare level one-handed swords from two different bosses within the level 45 to 50 dungeon Zul Farak. Zang Thray's the Deflector is the first sword, and it drops from Antu's Sul. Zang Thray's the Protector, the second sword, drops from Chief Ukor's Sand Scout, the final boss in the instance. Once you've attained both pieces, you can combine them to form Zul Thrays. As with the tabard, this piece really helps tie in that fell feel with what appears to be a fell flame orbiting the tip of the blade. Well, that's all for this Transmog set. I hope it helped. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the content of this video, Leave a comment below, and if you found it helpful, please hit that like button and share it with your friends. Also, regarding these transmog guides, I plan to do it more in the future. I will only be doing sets I come up with on my own, or I find extra interesting. But if you'd like more of these, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'm Sentient, and so are you.